Natal. Just pulled up, we made camp. So where we are is um, Starvation Bay. The last time I was here, the rabbit proof fence was still standing. Absolutely beautiful.
Hello folks, broken the drought of uh, 40 years, 2Ks, not even, 1.8 out of Hope Town. And uh, big shout out to the Austins if you're watching, g'day mate, there you go. It's good to see you up at uh, Austin Downs Station, that's what they call up out there, in the Gascoigne region. And now I'm on the coast and, um, oh, big, a big bloody shout out to you guys. So yeah, I can't believe it. 40 years. I, I, I know that because I'm off another fella's video he said that the um, jetty in town was pulled down in 1983 and I specifically remember our boat being moored to that jetty to get fuel and uh, I remember that like it was yesterday and they tell me that this town has just exploded since then and all I remember back then was a, was a small back then I think it was Foodland or IGA uh, or Foursquare uh, and the pub tiny little caravan park, it's really quiet, really, really quiet, it's just a fisherman's town. But then again, you know, like places like Burrow Bay, we're, we're virtually nothing as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to blow my mind uh, to see so many houses and see what it is. It's, it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that road I was just on was just a track originally.
now. It was a town before, but it's more about fishing and surviving. Oh, and the farmers are Well, that's it. I've left Hopetown now. I'm 35 k's out of Ravensall, just doing a fucking sign. Um, and I feel kind of nostalgic. I mean, this is the route that my family took 40 years ago. <coughs> I'm going to head up to Ravensall and then up to uh, up to, up to Lake King and up to Hyden, refuel in Hyden perhaps, see what I can turn up it's like, and then across the Marble Lock and then up to Southern Cross. Um, I was going to keep going up to the stations up um, Dymbles and Mount Elvia, but I've, I've totally run out of time. I'm about eight hours behind already, plus I've got about, honestly, uh, uh, probably 12 hours of driving already. And, so I get home till about three in the morning. You know, yeah, work at six. So yeah, it's not really worked out too well, but such is life. I'll deal with that. Lake King turnoff from Ravensall. So we've been through Ravensall. Now we're heading towards the mine that we used to have. Again, uh, I suppose would we leave there in about yeah, 1990, 89. So that marks it uh, 34 years ago. We've got to come this way. It's been a while ago. Well, I've driven this way um, in a truck. In a Triple road train or C train, cart grain for CBH. Uh, and it's pretty hectic in a road train, I can tell you. But it's beautiful. I enjoyed it actually. I spent a week down here because the Cyclone Sarage took out Gerald, so um, come down and help out down here. And a shout out to Michael Harden. There you go, mate. Thank you. Hope things are well. Hope the horses are going well. Anyway, I'll talk to you up near Hyde. Right, see ya. Hey folks, we got Hyde just behind us. Um, Southern Cross 181. I believe we're up two, hippos yawn, three, the hump's 19, Marcus K, 19. Alright, well, we're not stopping anywhere except for I want to show you where the rabbit proof fence used to come through because back in my day, um, you used to have to stop and open the gate. And I can tell you, just like probably every caravaner, I'm not a caravaner, but just like every other caravaner around Australia, when you have to stop and you have to open a gate or something on a highway or a road, generally it makes you, uh, uh, excuse me, I'll say fecking eyes water because of the shitty fucking nappies that people leave in the bush on the side of the road that are, that are just insane. Like, 
yeah, you have to literally hold your breath before you open the gate, go through, close it, like, just run and get in the car. It's like, holy, holy man in the sky. Like, no offense to anyone, but far out. Um, yeah, so please don't put your, your nappies in the bush. Uh, it just, they take like 30 fucking years to disintegrate and, you know, um, go back to nature. Plus, you know, up here where I'm going, we've got a bit of a problem with wild dogs and they love to get in there and roll on it, like shred it and rip it to pieces and have fun. They okay? just they spread it everywhere and it makes it smell ten times fucking worse. Um, so please don't do it. Alright, so uh yeah, so we're heading towards where we used to have our gold mine, I'll show you that. And I'll tell you the story. I already had it, I'll finish that off because I showed you his statue in um, Kogulli. So it'll all come together now, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you um, probably about half an hour, an hour or so down the road. Alright, so um, here we go, you know, we're heading off down the road. We're now uh, 289 plus sea level. See that? So, yeah, um, happy days really. I'm, I'm really stoked I got down there and seen it. It's been a long time. A lot of memories came back. Fantastic. I'm, I'm bloody glad I did it. And uh, yeah, took out Easter Club. Got me drone, my fishing rod, my fishing reels. I'm set. No, I, don't need, I don't need much else. Alright, well, I'll talk to you then. I'll talk to you next time up the road. Well, bye. used to be a gate but anyway I've left about so there's me there I'm about here come down past Takabiana Inglewood station Windsor uh, sorry uh, uh, Wandinong and then Windsor up here sandstone about halfway uh, across to Leinster or well, Agni that's actually Agni I should say Agni because um, Leinster's over here anyway and down Leonora, Menzies, Kaguli, Cambelda, to Norseman, to that uh, here on the John Starswich Road, well, the Starswich Road, and then to Mount Ridley, and then down to Lucky Bay, back along here, down and across to Starvation Bay. And then to Hope Town and back up to Ravensthorpe, Lake King, Hyden. And now we're about um, well about here, I think, on the map. Because that fence goes sort of like that. Along that line there. Goes up. And then up like that. I believe. Because I know that because I've graded along the rabbit proof fence myself up here. Anyway, there we go, yeah. Oh, I am here. Yeah, but yep, here you go. Burn proof fence. There we go. It's, there used to be a gate, you know, it was a double gate. Shitty nappies in here, but yeah, I could not breathe. Um, the gate just like that one there. And the farmers probably changed the fence by now, but I remember a flood here. It was so deep, three quarters of the way up the fence. Water was just flowing to the ocean. Oh, that would have been early 80s, 84. But yeah, see this gate, just like that. And you see the chicken wire fence? Yeah, that's the rabbit proof fence. He's got the extra post in to get his um, header front through, I uh, Yeah. Oh, for hundreds of kilometers that way, there's a fence. All the way to the highway. 
past the highway, the greatest highway that is, to the Great Northern Highway. Just keep going. Right, yeah, we'll soldier on. More to show you yet. But I've got to be careful because out here, at this time of night, like it's 10 to 6. Uh, there are some big boomers, mate. Look. Hey, hey, look at this big cheeky bag. Yeah, ones that'll knock a truck about, cave the tanks in and stuff like that. Oh, solid. Yeah, real, real red bastards up here. Um, so, yeah, I've got to keep my wits about me. I'm trying to hurry because I'm running out of daylight. And I've got other stuff I want to show you. Plus, I have about, probably from here, probably about 800 k's of highway drive to. So Southern Cross, when we get there, that'll be the last, that'll be the end of this video, um, basically. And then, um, I'll, just, I'll just be doing highway driving. So, you, you know, you're not really interested in that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I want to show you what's up ahead. I will show you more, like there's a couple of sites that I want to go and show you, but it'll take too long, it's getting dark, so I'll just push on. Um, if you want to know anything, I'll just drop me an email or something, I'll put it in my um, description, and uh, you, or you'll see it in the, in, in, you know, where all the, uh, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll say something dumb, I'll say where all the words are, because I don't exactly, can't think at the moment, I'm just trying to, I'll have to tread on the road. Um, but yeah, I mean, sorry about the windscreen being all buggy. Wait, can you see that? Yeah, can you see that? But um, yeah, we're three, almost 300 k's from Hopetown now. Uh, so I've clicked over 1800 k's for the trip. So we'll probably do 3000 by the time I get home. Uh, so that's 3000 in basically three days. Been moving. I don't want to. I mean, I'd love to stay somewhere for a couple of days. It's so beautiful. I don't remember actually this out here being so green. It looks beautiful. Normally the salt bush is blue, like a deep, not a deep blue, but like a grey blue, like the rough ocean blue. It's, it's so green. It's, it's incredible. It's like it's winter, but it's not. It's 30 odd degrees. Yeah, it's incredible. I'll show, show you up here, I don't know if you're aware. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to go past the Forestonia Pub or not. But if we do, I'll pull up there and I'll show you. And as well as that, the uh, Parker's Range uh, School and Oval Town Site. I'll show you that. Um, there was a government dam I was going to show you, but that's off the cards today. There's another dam I was going to show you, but yeah, that's off the cards. Uh, a couple of, a couple of um, other dams I was going to show you as well, but yeah, it's too late. Way too late. Like, I expect it to be up in Payne's fine by now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm running like four, five, six hours late. It's incredible. But I th I've enjoyed myself. I'm not complaining. Uh, what road is this one? farming area. Yeah, I don't recognise that name, so yeah. Well, by the way, um, you know, because we did some fishing in that along the coast with our big boat, so shout out to the Wellsteads, because uh, you knew, well, our family knew yours. Um, shout out to the Austins again. Shout out to the Westbergs. Uh, shout out to the Kalis brothers. We uh, worked with you and helped you all. Uh, so, you know, my name's Latter. I don't know if you remember us. But uh, anyway, just trying to be um, friendly. A message. But, um, yeah, years ago, in the early 90s, so 30 years ago, used to be big quad or triple road trains running along here. Hamptons had the contract. Uh, T900s. W models, yeah, heavy loads, mate. Bloody good days, good memories. Anyway, I'll t I'll talk to you when the next.
next thing comes up. Right up, see ya. Well, I've got um, uh, 
50 mil offset rims on the back so my wheels are even so there's no offset uh, tracking on this car and possibly next year I'll get the uh, well I will be getting the um, superior engineering rear diff with the size 50 100 mil wider 100 mil wider and then I'll put all the rims on it so I can swap rims from front to rear and there's no difference plus it's stronger and I'm going to chuck in a uh, diff lock as well maybe even thinking about cruise control the, the distances I'm doing at the moment yeah. well the thing is with uh, the more stuff you add like that it's the more that can go wrong I'd rather just a good reliable touring bushy That blows my mind. It's it's blowing my mind again. Um, so many things have blown my mind this trip. It's amazing. I guess they don't want to grade the road because they've got big trucks on them. They're mining not far away from where we were actually. Now uh, that's what the road's pitch was for is the uh, there must be a new mine south of Parker's Range Road. That's, uh, which is south of Warren Rock if you want to know if you look at that. You with Dennis? Um, it's getting late. I just pulled up because I'm what about almost 400, maybe 350 k's north of Hyden, where I showed you the rabbit-proof fence, and now we're back on the fence again. So we're up near Kalani now. If you look on the map, so I come out near Gul near um, Gulai. Let's see if I can find the fence. See if it's here, so let's go roadworks here. Oh, the fence. No, I'm not sure that one's not a no that one's not a ute. Might be this one, but um, you know they could have changed it too by now. It's been quite a few years. Yeah, I'm not going in there in case of snakes and stuff. Thank you, lights. Thank you to Light Force Australia. Very <laughs> days all around. Putting the tail. Oh, I've been driving since eight o'clock this morning. I just need to break a little walk around. Can you see how yellow the moon is? It's been well, it was weird like that last night. Yeah. Oh, I'm 
tired. Anyway, I just, I'm thinking about just pulling up somewhere and just, I've got my swag. But anyway, I'll talk to you later.